Hi guys, Dr. Sammy here with Eastwood Animal Clinic. Thanks for joining us. Uh, today's social media question that we're going for is, what can an owner do for their three-legged pet, whether it's a dog or a cat? Uh, their specific question was for a dog. Overall, the concept applies to both species. So very good question. Haven't been asked that one very often, but it depends on which leg it is, how much of an issue it kind of tends to be. Most pets tend to tolerate a forelimb or a front leg amputation better than a hind leg, but a lot of dogs and cats actually do really well with being three-legged pets anyway. Uh, just a little harder on the cats when it's a back leg because they like to jump and climb and get higher and they really use those back legs a lot more. So just try and make it a little bit easier. If it's a feline for them to climb or get to places, make sure they have really good grip with that one good back leg and those claws and maybe try and not let them outside quite so much. Uh, indoor three-legged cats would be much better than a three-legged outdoor cat because they do tend to wander. They do tend to get in other backyards where there are other dogs that will chase them and it's just a little harder to get away as fast if you have three legs in a backyard versus four and you're a cat and you need to get in that tree and you got one shot at it to get away. So indoor cats, if you're a three-legged cat, that would probably help you guys out the most. Uh, as far as the dogs, most of them tend to do fairly well. Like I said, it varies a little bit on the age, the breed, pain tolerance of the patient, some of those things. But something I do encourage owners to do is when you take away one of those legs, they tend to overcompensate in the opposite direction. So therefore you're putting a lot more weight and strain on the good limb that is left. So I do encourage owners to make sure they're not fat, that they're not overweight, have a good BCS or body condition score. And the next best thing is be proactive and be on some kind of joint supplement. Typically veterinary clinics have a little better stuff than the over the counter. Some of those have worked great for clients. Some are not very helpful. So joint supplements to some extent, weight control, and just keep them active and kind of watch. That tends to help most of these guys. Hope that helps you guys out a little bit. Thanks for watching. Bye.